Hey, um, this is Rob from Rob Help Project, and this is my second tutorial. My last tutorial was about CCCP codec, and if you want to know more about that tutorial, please go to my channel and look it up. Um, today I'm going uh, I'm going to show you um, a few things here. You may you must be wondering what do I have here? Um, right now I have this is my recycling bin. You must you must be asking yourself why do I why do you have your recycling bin? I'm gonna show you something. Um, what um concern um, concerning it right now. Let's um, minimize it. Right here we have recycling bin. You know when you write like recycling bin. And you go well. My don't even got it. <laughs> well, but usually when you when you go to recycling bin, it's delete everything on recycling bin or clear recycling bin, something like that. Um, when you do that, when you delete that, like that, everything from the recycling bin, it still stays in your hard drive somewhere. The only thing that your hard drive can't really read it. But it's still there. It's taking up space, and and if it's some important documents, somebody could get them with a recovery tool. So be careful what you delete, because it may be discovered. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna show you is I'm um, sorry about the. Now I'm gonna go to Google and I'm gonna type eraser. Click on the first link. Now with this tool I'm gonna I'm gonna show you right now. With this tool so so unquote unquote it claims I don't, I'm not really sure because I don't um, what you might call it um I don't not really into the recovery thing so I'm not I haven't tested that theory so a bit so um this tool claims to actually erase erase everything erase erase it doesn't leave it in your hard drive it cannot be recovered after you erase it when you delete it it can be recovered because it's still there it's still in your hard drive you haven't done nothing it's still there the only thing you can't really see it and it's taking memory and it's a danger a danger to your privacy and security so this um, software so um, claims to erase it completely from your computer and it's free and you just, you, I'm going to give you the link in the description but I'm going to show you real quick they have a few, uh, like two versions of it you're going to um, you're going to um, pick the one that is right for you they have the 32 bit and the 60 I forgot how, which one's the other one 64 bit there you go. So you pick the one that is the that is for you. Download it. It's gonna look like this. Set it up. Um, install. Check anything that that has to do with the recycling bin. Click it. Don't don't take it off. And when you're done, you're gonna you're gonna guess. Erase recycling bin. Oh yeah, empty recycling bin. That's what it says. Yeah, I forgot. Well, you're gonna click Erase Recycling Bin Library if you have anything in the recycling bin, and if you have anything you want to delete. Um, okay, but hold up. This is the recycling bin, and if I go here and press Erase Recycling Bin, it's gonna come with this, and put yes. 
Now it's deleting every. I mean, it's erasing everything from the um, recycling bin. It tells you the time, how much it erased, um, written data, written time and speed, so on. But if, if you don't want to, if you don't want to erase the record from the recycling bin, you could do it. You still do it. Take any any file folder you want, right click on it, go to erase, and erased. That's it. I will. It should never pop up again in your in your um, system. This tutorial took longer than it than it used that it had to. I just gave you a little bit of information. I'm not sure if this program works 100%. I've been using it for a while now, and hey, it seems like it seems to work for me. Um, I freeze up my memory and keeps my computer fast, even though I delete like 100 files. So thank you for watching, and if you like the video, please rate and comment, subscribe. And I see you all next time.